How's it going guys? It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a video on how to crack your password on your computer. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and use OPH Crack software, and it's actually a bootable software that you boot from CD. And um, just go ahead and go to Google and type in OPH Crack, and it's the link that says ophcrack.sourceforge.net. And I will post a link on the description of the video below so you can get to it. And here it is. Go ahead and click on the download link up here. And from here you can go ahead and install, actually download, a live CD for Windows XP and a live CD for Vista or Windows 7. Unfortunately, they haven't made one for Windows 8 yet, but I will make another video on how to do it on Windows 8. So look for that if you have Windows 8. And I will post a link for that video also once it comes up on this video. Okay. All right. So back to uh, the page here. You can go ahead and download the live CD for XP or Vista or 7. Just go ahead and click on it. It'll download. Now, if you notice, it's actually 649 megabit, megabytes. So it is going to take a while, to, a while to download it. Once you download it um, and install it to a disk, using an ISO burner program. Once you install it to a disk, we go ahead and insert it to the CD tray on your computer and let's go from there. All right guys, so here I have my OPH Crack Vista and 7 Live CD. And if you notice, uh, the table, it's called a hack table. It searches uh, number zero through nine, uh, lowercase letter A through Z and uppercase letter A through Z. Unfortunately, it does not do special characters. Special characters, I mean these special characters right here. It does not do those. So if your password had special characters, uh, this method won't work for you to crack your password for your computer. And I recommend, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload another video on how to actually reset it, how to delete your password. All right. So I recommend watching that video if you have special characters for your password. So once you make the live CD, you go ahead and insert it to your disk tray. And what you do is you uh, reboot your machine. So let's go ahead and reboot. All right, the computer is restarting right now. Boot from CD. So depending on your BIOS settings, make sure you have it to boot from CD, all right? So it's booting from CD, and here we are, OPH crack. And use the arrow keys and select what you want to do. Uh, the one, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's go ahead and do uh, OPH Crack Graphic Mode Automatic. Hit enter. It'll start to load it. This might take a while. All right, so here we are. So it's going to start up with this window here. This is where you choose your um, account. So basically what we did is we booted from the CD and we're looking at this um, operating system from the CD actually. All right, so here we can take a look at all the accounts that exist on the actual computer. My account is called Unobomber and here it is. Here's uh, NT hash. That's basically the password in code. And what this program is going to do is going to it's going to take that code and try to crack it. All right. We have the table Vista free, which is the same thing as for Windows 7. All right. All right. So you're going to have to wait for your RAM to load up. And here, there it is, 100% in RAM. Go ahead and click on the on the plus sign over here on the left hand. Click on the plus sign. You're going to get the, all the tables. So all the tables are loading right now. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And you got to wait for those tables to load up after those tables load. All right, so once the table loads, go ahead and click on your account. And mine is Unobomber right here. And then click on the crack button back here. Now, like I said, my account is really hard to crack because it has special characters so it's not going to crack mine but if your account if your password had lowercase uppercase letters or numbers it should crack it so all you got to do is click on your account name and then click on the crack button up here 
it'll start to try to crack it. Now it's not doing mine because of that. And I'm sorry for that. But once you click on the crack button, it'll start to crack it and it might take one, two, three hours depending on how much RAM you have on your computer and your processor. And once it finds it, it will tell you what the password is right here. All right, and that's all you gotta do. And like I said, it works for XP, Vista, and 7. All right. If you want to crack a Windows XP machine, uh, download the XP Live CD. All right, the one we're using right now is only for Vista and Windows 7, but the Windows XP Live CD works the same exact way. All right. All right, so that's it. That's how you crack your password using OPH Crack. Hope this has helped you out if you're trying to figure out how to do that. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good rest of your day.